Converting between compound units advanced. A cyclist rides her bike at a rate of five meters per second. So there's my beginning rate, okay, five meters per second. What is this rate in kilometers per hour? How many kilometers will the cyclist travel in four hours? So I have two questions here that I have to answer, okay? First thing I need to do is take this five meters, okay, every second. So five meters every one second, and I need to convert it into kilometers per hour, okay? And then I'll answer the question, how many kilometers will the cyclist travel in four hours? Do not round your answers, okay? So the first thing I need to do is change meters into kilometers or kilometers, however you want to say it. So this is metric to metric conversion. So we use a little mnemonic device or saying to kind of help us remember the order of the prefixes, the metric prefixes. So the little saying is King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. So I'm going to write the first letter of each one of those words. King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. Okay, now this is um, the, the metric prefixes. Now this one right in the middle is plain old units. Okay, so meters, liters, um, or grams, my units without any prefix on them. See, this one is meters, but it has something on the front. Okay, so meters, plain old meters, is right here. And I want to go to kilo, the K, for kilometers over here. So to do that, I have to jump one, two, three spots to the left. So to change five meters to kilometers for a regular five, okay, my decimal starts there. I'm going to bump the decimal three places to the left because that's what I had to jump here. So my decimal will now be there and add some zeros. This, right, five meters is the same as point zero zero five kilometers every one second. <coughs> but I'm still not where I need to be. They want kilometers per hour, okay? Kilometers per hour. So now I'm going to take this and the seconds and convert it to hours. So now I'm going to multiply by some conversion ratios, okay? So seconds, I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. And I put the seconds on top here so that it would cancel with the seconds in the denominator there. But I'm still not there. Right now I'm in kilometers per minute. I want kilometers per hour. So next I'm going to multiply by 60 minutes in one hour so that these units cancel. And now the only units I have left are kilometers in the numerator and hours in the denominator, which is a, what I wanted, kilometers per hour. So now I just have to do the calculations. So 0 0.005 times 60 times 60, okay, 0 0.005 times 60, times 60 again gives me 18, okay? So I have 18 kilometers in the numerator, and in the denominator it's just 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Whoops, didn't mean to include that one, right? I don't need this anymore. So 1 times 1 times 1, and my units are hours. So final answer is 18 kilometers every one hour. So that's the answer to question number one. Question number two, how many kilometers will the cyclist travel in four hours? Okay, so I'm going to take this rate, this 18 kilometers every one hour, and I'm multiplying it by four hours. And I'm going to put that over one just to keep my fractions lined up. Again, 
my hours cancels with hours, and all I'm left with is kilometers, which is what the question is asking me. How many kilometers? Okay. So I'm going to do 18 times 4. Okay, so 18 times 4 gives me 72. Units are kilometers. And in the denominator, I just have 1 times 1. I can leave that off. No units. So answer to sec second question is 72 kilometers.